Hey there everyone and welcome back to a brand new tutorial on my channel heading into 2025. Uh, today we're going to be talking all about linking media. Sometimes when you're on Premiere Pro you can get a message like this about to come up right here. So for example I've got a clip. Um, this is lovely bit of b-roll from Pexels. Shout out to the people that created that. If I actually delete the file on my hard drive that is currently in Premiere Pro, so for example right here, this is it. I select move to bin. When I go back over to Premiere Pro, if I try and play it, it's going to say media offline. Now what this means is that we need to relink this media somehow. So the way to go about doing it is I can double click, scroll down, and it will say link media right here. Now whenever you select link media, it's gonna bring up the box that says this is the file we're trying to locate. Adobe Premiere Pro is saying we don't know where it's gone, can you help us relink it? So what, to, what you need to do is locate and go about finding exactly where the new location of that file is. Now in my case, the new location of the file is the bin. So I'm gonna go into my bin and put that file back. So here it is, I'm gonna double click, put back. It's going back into my downloads, happy days. And then if I select my downloads folder on the link media page, I've got display only exact name matches. I'm able to select it, click OK, <clears throat> and we're back in business. So hopefully that gives you a rough idea of how it works when it comes to linking offline media in Premiere Pro. So the reason why media goes offline in the first place is because you've moved the location of the file or because you've changed the name of it. So simply you need to relink it or put the original file back to where it was uh, or change it back to its original name. And I also have one-on-one -on -one consultancy sessions based around video editing. So be sure if you need one, uh, drop a comment or an email or join my channel as a member. And I also have my own courses on how to become a pro editor uh, linked down below as well. So be sure if you're on Skillshare or Udemy to check those out. 